Rev it up! <laughs> One more time! Today we're in my man's Dylan's 93 Fox Body Mustang 5.0. <laughs> Let's get to it. Racer power, huh? <laughs> get, get in the old uh, American muscle. A little bit of American muscle action today. We're used to those foreign cars, <laughs> foreign imports straight from the J-Pan. Today we got some fresh from America, a classic. My man Dylan, what are you saying? Uh, it's a little bit of upgrade from the Racer Nation. <laughs> I, I live the best of both worlds, but uh, this one makes a little bit more torque, so she can pull a little harder, you know? You said the old uh, Mazda Speed was putting some beat on some Mustangs, huh? <laughs> <laughs> she was the other night. I'll have to put a hurt on you, too. One day we'll have to get little Pete to record us. Have him uh, do the one, two, three, go. <laughs> Drop the flag. You wanna, you wanna feel a 40 roll? 40 roll? Yeah. 40 roll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do a 20 roll pull too later. See how, see how that one will feel for you. I feel like the 40 rolls pull a little harder though. Yeah, that's sick. No, uh, later on, I mean, once I get a better job, I want to turbocharge this plug. See how, uh, see what she'll run then. Wind turbo. No, I can't afford that. That's when you start breaking stuff. Did you have to rebuild the whole engine? Get a new engine, probably. Uh, you're supposed to get a different camshaft and stuff because it's a different compression. You have to get different valve springs for them. Okay. And then I'd have to redo my exhaust too. All right, so let's pop that hood. Well, what shall we start with? Uh, the new wiring. You got new wiring? Uh, just new spark plug wires. <laughs> <laughs> I got MSD wiring stuff sitting at home I haven't put on yet. Don't really have time for that with work and stuff. Uh, basically, all it's done to the motor. I got the old uh, colder intake. Put that on a couple months ago. How many, little, how many horsepower did you get off that? A little dirt nasty. Uh, I probably got about, uh, you know, they, they say when you do colder intakes and you get the, the aluminum or chrome, as they would say, you get about 30 more horsepower. But, Sounds about uh, right. Yeah, she, she might be right. And I got my, my filter for my oil so she can uh, get good air airflow through there. Sick. k and in. Is that about all for the engine? Uh, she got E303 cam, but uh, want to go bigger, make it faster, you know, more aggressive tone too. But yeah, that should be the engine for right now. But the 5.0. The 5.0 with the high output. Dang. And then we got sing, some... Uh, sing has so much room in here though. Just go ham with the, with Easy the turbo. Easy to work on if you want to. You can just like climb up and sit right <laughs> here on the radiator, do some work. Right. Want to take your intake off? You can probably sit on the battery too. You never know. <laughs> Let's get the seat. Pop the hood off. You told me something about no AC. No AC no unit. No AC. The AC compressor is gone. It's supposed to be right here. It makes a little bit more horsepower. I mean, need AC? Just roll down the windows or crank the AC on in the winter. And that's it. So heat works phenomenal with a little single core radiator. We need to go bigger. Probably steal one out of a ricer because I know they go big. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right, so that's about all for the engine. And the Mustang owners, man, crowd control. 
I mean, they, they don't know how to drive. They usually say it's people, but I, I believe that one was a deer. I didn't get to witness it though. He followed us. That's funny. I wonder if he wants to race. Another Mustang owner. The people. <laughs> they follow you everywhere. <laughs> oh, are these these aren't stock wheels, are they? No. No, stock wheels, the pony wheels, they're real ugly. So everybody, I mean, a lot of people like the original look, but I don't. So you get the original four lug, though. I stuck with that. And what size tire are you running? Uh, it's 245, so I forget what size that is. And it's about nine and a half wide. Can't okay. go any bigger with quad shocks. They look pretty good on her. They hook, I mean. For all their car, I wish it would break loose more, but it, it don't happen unless you're at a dead stop and you dump the clutch. So. <laughs> okay, this car's way louder than mine. This puts mine to shame. Man, that is a decent mark. Yeah, dude. You, I like. You left a fat mark. 20 roll? 20 roll, here we go. and stuff. Everybody thinks they get real bad fuel mileage, but now that I live out in the country and everything's like all highway miles coming into town to work, I actually get like 22 miles to the gallon in this thing. Dang, when I don't bad. hot rod it. Oh. And like if I'm on the interstate, interstate and people want to race or something, I'll still average like 18 Dang. to 20. It's really nice. One key thing about the interior of cars, you can never have too many air fresheners, man. Got one there. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, Five. I actually six. got two hidden down in here, man. Oh, that's seven. Okay, There's seven. There's one, and then you missed this one. I got hidden too. Seven. Two. Oh, that's eight. I got a bunch. It's a total of eight air fresheners. Oh, there's one hidden in here. Did you get oh, that I one? Oh, I got that one. Yeah, eight air fresheners. Always smelling nice. <laughs> now I was thinking about buying some racing seats for this thing, just because like the headrest is so far back. It's because like, I mean, you're riding pretty dirty. Yeah. Whenever I drive out there, they go like slouch down in my seat, just so my head ain't tilted way back. <laughs> and he's chilling. Just chilling. We got a Glock in here too. They said Glock in my Ari, but this is a Fox. Glock in the Fox body? Yeah. Can't really, uh, it'd be nice to have a, a Ferrari, but Franklin County we're talking about. <laughs> Don't well, worry guys. I got carry and conceal, that's what it is. Conceal and carry. We'll have to go into more detail why you got this puppy. Alright. Alright, so the interior is an older car, so obviously it's going to be older style. What's really cool is the headlights and fog lights are up here, as well as your hazards. So it's that, I think that's really cool about it. The steering wheel, got this nice grip on it. What's weird about the Mustang is the horn buttons are on the sides so I guess it's kind of like you got nitrous or something I don't know what but also you got cruise control for a 93 car that's pretty sick I'd say these seats are really nice they're super comfortable back seats seats fold down and there's room back there got some seat pockets door panels are really simple just plastic door unlock and then your windows up and down down here just your clutch brake and gas just plastic covering on those not like the speed 3 with the aluminum pop the hood from underneath right there and then you got your AC AC doesn't work on here but the AC is over here um, you have your all your air conditioning unit up here on this there's the radios aftermarket shift knob 5 speed manual um, there's a little glove box here with room for uh, whatever you want. If you want to put your gun clip in there, you can put your gun clip for your Glock. That'll work in there. Um, but we'll cover that up for now. Then we have a little center console here. Dylan said it's broken, so I'm not going to open that up, mess with it. And then on this side, same as the other glove box. Opens up. Got a knife in there to fight off. Yo, what's this button over here? Yeah, trunk release man trunk that opens the trunk yeah that's a mess location I know dude it took me forever to find out what that was for trunk that's release I never really read it from the driver's side yo you should install that as a NOS button I could 
could just put a mouse button right here. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Got, got a spare uh, port. Yeah, yo, but that's honestly like cool. Really spacious inside, super comfortable. Oh, it's also got a sunroof, so you can be chilling. Sunroof with half the headliner, cause uh, weight reduction. These actually pop out, and uh, whenever they do that, these things start sagging when you're uh, going over 100 mile an hour with them out. Yeah, cause so. this thing barely hits over 100, so we had to take it out. Yeah. <laughs> seats back here, and then your trunk. We got whatever the seats. The seats are apparently are super comfortable. It's like one, you're sitting on a one couch. One thing, uh, I thought it was only a, a ricer thing, cause I used to have a Mazda Protege hatchback. And they had one of these tarps in the back. And when I seen this, it's like, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> I can't believe you have a... Yo, what's the gun for? Just tell me again on that. Uh, I mainly got that because I go to the city quite a bit. When I'm in the city, you know, you get them uh, weird fellas that'll follow you for quite a while. So when you pull into a gas station, they'll either pull in behind you or keep driving by. So it's always a good safety precaution. I'll let you take her for a spin. All right. You got to feel some real power. You want me to hold the uh, yeah. the video recording device? Hold, yeah, just hold it like that. Right right. Down there. I'm used to driving the Mazda C3. Since it's a, no, that's a nope, truck key, nope. but that's for a door for the Ford. This one? Yes, sir. USA. US of A. Americana. Or American terms, America. First time ever in a muscle car? You might want to put her in reverse. Okay, here's the reverses. Yeah, I don't have a six speed. Mine's yeah. five. We'll, we'll edit this out. He did, uh, he killed her. I did that. So I, I, I didn't kill it. He did that on purpose. He's getting the feel of the clutch. Yours comes out like halfway or two. Yeah, yours like barely down. moves. When I drop, my dad, his Mazda Protege speeds like that. Like, and yeah, it's a little hard to get in the gear. Is that mean first? Yeah. Yeah, I like this because you barely let out and it starts to pull. Cause like in uh, for some reason like the Mazda. Yeah, I'll Safe, get, safety I'll get first. mine too. Safety first in the remaining community. Man, your clutch is so sensitive. Number two. I did not kill it. Can't feel bad for him though. No. Oh, big. Oh, what you looking at, females? <laughs> the females are checking us out. Now that he upgraded from uh, the four cylinder life, he's trying to get all the ladies. Let's see if I don't kill her. Man. This thing sounds so sad. I, I feel bad because uh, I haven't gotten to see my man Lil Pete in a long time. And I was hoping he could uh, join the experience with us. But uh, hopefully we'll see him around again with uh, Fox Body and the Maserati going at it side by side. Oh, this thing sounds so sad. But we could see it March 10th at the Gateway. March 10th. Might be running them. Oh my gosh, we got the, the police. Right. Sheriff patrol. He ain't radar, no. I am. Cobra scanner ain't going off, my man. Cobra scanner, my man. All right, let's do a quick 40 roll. Right, man, I feel so different from this point of view. <laughs> that is different. I know. That's different. Yo, my car pulls, pulls harder than this. What? My car pulls hard. What? This. It does. I'll let you drive it. Like it very much. All right, I guess that concludes the video for the 93 Fox body. My man Dylan. I, I appreciate the uh, uh, the shout out to your sick car. Shout out, yeah. To the dirt nasty. Dirt nasty detailing. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can get that business going. If you guys like the video, like the video. If you want to see Dylan in the video again with the Fox body versus the Mazda maybe, like the video as well. Give her some likes, man. Hit up the likes. That ends the video. See you guys next time. Thanks.